This week on Sport Fishing, travel with us as we go south to Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. Get a feel for vacationing in style at an exquisite and affordable Mexican resort. And in the galley, learn how to make a unique Mexican dish, ceviche. And of course, join us as we fly the fish-rich waters off the tip of Baja. Stay tuned, we have a great show for you this week, fishing out of Cabo San Lucas. Sport Fishing with Dan Hernandez is brought to you by Sport Chalet and by Berkeley Trilene, super strong fishing line. Welcome to this week's show. I'm Dan Hernandez, and we'll be fishing out of Cabo San Lucas this week. Hopefully running into billfish, maybe a wahoo tuna, you never know. You know, one of the nice things about Cabo San Lucas, it's a beautiful location, it's got great fishing, and you might think it's far. It is over a thousand miles from Los Angeles, but on Mexicana Airlines out of LAX, it's a short two hour flight to put you into the middle of some of the best fishing in the world. For a long time, Cabo San Lucas was the ultimate destination for serious anglers only, who had to scrimp and save for that one fantasy fishing trip. But in recent years, travel to Cabo has become easy and affordable. There are accommodations available for every budget, and they've developed quite a nightlife as well. As a matter of fact, there seems to be as much action off the water as there is on. But we'll tell you more about that later. Right now, let's visit the Tackle Box. The Tackle Box. Tips and information to help every angler improve their chances on the water. This week, the Tackle Box is brought to you by the San Diego Sport Fishing Council. Standing next to me is Minerva, and she's the owner of Minerva's Baja Tackle here in beautiful Cabo San Lucas. Now, Minerva, you've been here for how many years? I've been here 15 years in the sport fishing business. That's pretty remarkable. Yes. Especially down here in Mexico. Yes. Yeah. Now, we've come down here to go fishing. Can you tell us what we can expect this time of year? Yes, right now during this time of year in Cabo San Lucas, we're fishing for the big blue and black marlin. We're holding tournaments and we're catching up to six blue marlin a day. And for our viewers out there that aren't familiar with blue marlin, these fish range all the way up to 1,000 pounds? Yes, uh, Cabo San Lucas's last record was 995 and the biggest one of the year we've caught and it was 660 pounds so far. Now, most of the people in California can go ahead and get their own tackle there, but one nice thing about Minerva's being here in Cabo is if you forget to bring that lure or a hook, it's all here. It's all here. We have all your basic Baja needs. Now, why don't we go over the type of lures that we'll be using for this trip? Okay, right now the lures most sold are the 3.5, the 5.5, and the 7.5 Zookers, and we have a couple of examples right here. And these are just large trolling lures, and Zucker's what, the brand name? Zucker's is the favorite here in Cabo San Lucas. Okay. And we're using the 50 TW Internationals and the 80 TW Internationals on board most of the boats right now. 
and we're carrying line anywhere from 60 to 100 pounds. Okay. And then the leader on that, I know you use Berkeley line a lot down mm -hmm. here, but would the leader for this type be what, 200 pound test? 300 no, pound test? They're, uh, the most used leader right now is 300 and 400 pound test. The fish are that big? Yes, they're pretty big. Okay, and what kind of hooks would we use that lowers the size? Uh huh. The most common hook used with these are Mustad 7732s, and they're ranging anywhere from the 10 aughts to the 12 aughts. And those are the hooks that we're selling. This is a custom rig here. Okay, and you sell these custom rigs here mm -hmm. all complete? We sell them, we make them, we rig them up right here. Well, thank you very much, Minerva. Oh, thank this you. This is pretty enlightening. And just remember, if you're down in Cabo, come by and visit Minerva. That's Minerva's Baja Tackle here in Cabo San Lucas. Thank you. Thank you. We're inside the marina here in Cabo San Lucas. You know, this is a wonderful place to come fishing. And today we're going to be fishing with Mike aboard one of his boats. And Mike, can you tell our viewers the kind of fleet you have down here, size boats and stuff? We've got a fleet of 11 boats. Uh, we've got uh, 31 foot birchums. We've got 28 foot birchums, uh, 36 foot hatteras. We've got a couple lures too. All our crew are very experienced, and this is one of our better years this year since it's El Nino. They've been catching blues and blacks like it's going out of style. <laughs> and people come to Cabo, they can catch a big variety of fish. I know you have rooster fishing close. Dorado, tuna, wahoo, sailfish. Blue, blacks, every type of billfish. And what are we going to be targeting today? We're going to try to get some billfish today. Okay. It'll be nice. So we'll be fishing in the blue water, trolling the larger lures and stuff. We'll be trolling lures, we'll be trolling bay too, both, okay. and using a teaser. And what boat are we going on today, Mike? We're going to go on the Beauty Beyond today. And this is one of your 11 boats? This is one of the nicer ones right here. Okay. Well, we're going to go hurry up and get on board. The skipper wants to get out and go fishing, and I want to see if we can hook up one of those billfish. Let's go get them. All right, let's go. Coming up, so stay with us. Right off the tip here in Baja, right off the famous rock in Cabo. Here are. And normally I stand up, but it's been real bumpy today. And I can stand up, look. Da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the chair. Alright. See what we got here. Doing good. What kind of gear do we have here, Mike? That's a 9 0 Senator right there with 80 pound test. We're trolling That's a good. bit. Here we're trolling a 5.5 Zooker. It feels like it's either a Wahoo or a Tuna. Yeah. So I think it's a Wahoo. Well, that'd be great. Well, I can't wait to eat them. Oh man, I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's definitely not a billfish. Yeah, he would a tail walk for sure. I'd rather catch a walk any day than a billfish because they're better in the frying pan. Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. 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 You want a belt for that? Yeah. Yeah, just keep the book. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Man, it got nice. I like eating against the chair to lean against it right like that. Yeah. <laughs> there it is right there. There it is. There, yeah, it's a Wahoo. It's a Wahoo. No, no, no. No, it's a Wahoo. I got what I got. Wahoo. Yeah! Woo! Watch out, that thing's got away. sharp teeth. Watch its mouth. That's a, That's beauty. a beautiful Wahoo. Congratulations. Alright, thanks. <laughs> Woo! That's a great Wahoo. Have to be very careful with them. They have extremely oh, sharp teeth. Sharp mouth. 
Wahoo can be found worldwide in tropical or temperate seas. Seasonal concentrations will occur off the Pacific coast of Panama, Costa Rica, and Baja California during the summer months. The diet of the wahoo consists of squid and whatever it desires since few fish can escape it. Attaining speeds of 50 miles an hour, the wahoo is reputed to be one of the fastest fish in the sea. Fishing methods include trolling whole live baits and other small fishes, as well as strip baits or artificial lures. Wahoo are considered excellent eating. Well, we had a tough day in the water today. You know, we got in a tail end of a storm, and it was really bumpy, a little sloppy, but we did luck out and get a nice wahoo and a small yellowfin tuna. But well, one of the nice things about coming in early today is we'll be able to rest up and go check out the nightlife here in beautiful Cabo San Lucas. The nice thing about Cabo San Lucas is that this popular vacation destination has maintained its small town feel while providing everything a traveler could want. Take the Hotel Cabo San Lucas, for example. More a beach resort than a hotel, this secluded property offers spacious rooms, great beaches, water sports, their own restaurant, and even several private villas. Their sister property, the Hacienda, sits on a hill overlooking the entrance to the harbor. Great rooms, great views, great food. Definitely don't miss out on the seafood at the Hacienda. Now, if a quiet night back in the room isn't your style, don't worry because Squid Row is just one of many hoppy night spots to choose from. The Galley, recipes and tips for preparing your fish at home. This week, The Galley is brought to you by Acme Lures. Standing next to me is Victor, and Victor, I want to thank you for inviting us down here to Salsitas. And for those of you who have never been to Cabo San Lucas, Salsitas is located right next to the harbor, and you guys specialize in different types of Mexican seafood. Seafood specially. And what do you have for us here today? We're going to fix a ceviche over here. And what we have is a uh, fish, which is dorado. And then over here is clam, uh, this, uh, clam juice. Clam juice. And a uh, red sauce ketchup, black pepper over here, lime juice, Mexican sauce, oregano, and some salt also over here. Okay, how do we start off? Well, we're going to start with a little bit of fish over here, which marinate in lime juice. Now, I know you said this is dorado, but for those of our viewers who live in Southern California, they can use almost any kind of fish. Any kind of fish is good, but which okay. is the most favorite fish? Okay. Some lime juice over here. Now, this lime juice, do you normally let the fish sit in that for a while? For a, at least a couple hours. Okay. So you can do less than that, but which is the most tasty? Okay. You know? Okay, and after you have the lime juice, what do we go to next? Well, we have to wait for at least an hour. And then we put away the lime juice, and then we put all the ingredients together. Okay. So, next is uh, lime juice. Some ketchup over here. See, this is new for me. I didn't know you guys added ketchup to ceviche. Yeah, so also we put some beer up at the very end. Okay. <laughs> salsa. Mexican salsa. And this is your own salsa that you make here at Homemade, the restaurant? Homemade, right. And also some oregano. Well, this is looking good. It tastes great. Some pepper over here. This is just regular black pepper? Right. And then a little bit of salt. And just a tiny bit. Right. There you go. 
and then we mix all of these. And for those that never had this type of meal, we don't cook this at all. This is all being cooked by the juices. Right. Just marinade in language. Just kind of marinade. Mm -hmm. And the marinade actually cooks the fish. Right. The lime juice is the one. Okay. And at the very end, we just the rest with some beer. Any kind of beer. <laughs> Well, of course, we have to use a Mexican beer since this is a Mexican dish. Right. Now, we have olives here. Is that just to add color to yeah, the dish? Yeah, right. This is for like the decorator for the plate. Okay. Well, we already have one that's been all prepared for us. As Victor pointed out, this dish does take a couple hours to do it properly. So let's take a look at the finished dish we have. This is our final dish over here. And this is a ceviche in a regular shrimp cocktail over here. And this is a beautiful presentation. You guys did a wonderful job here. Thank you very much, Victor, for having us down. Thank you for coming down. And for those of you who are coming down to Cabo San Lucas, make sure you come and try a meal here at Salsitas. This is beautiful food, and I've got to try a piece. That's delicious. That's delicious. Thank, Thank you. you again. Thank you for coming. Another Wahoo, that's a Wahoo. That's a Wahoo? Yeah, look at the tip, it's going like that. That's a giveaway? That's a dead giveaway. He's, he's biting at it, he's mad. He's huge fish. He's not he's very a happy. Nice size one. Yeah, it must be a nice fish. Yeah. He doesn't look very right happy. Go to low gear or just keep it like this? Yeah, push it in, go to low. Go to shift gears. There you go. Oh, time to go to speed. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, he's gone. Cut through the line. Oh, that Wahoo cut through the line. Boy, that was a nice fish. my jig. What? Yeah. Oh, there's a lure. Yeah. Oh, there you go. That was a big Wahoo. You can see what he did. Tore it up. Look what he did to this one. That was a brand new pig. <laughs> that was a full skirt. Or the That's their way of saying hi. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get another one. You know it. Let's go get another one. Oh, uh, we did everything right we could on that fish. It just fish was so strong and so his oh. mouth was so strong and teeth are so sharp. He just worked his way loose. It's oh, hard to fish in the ball. Yeah, See if we can get us another one. Walk. Mike, why don't you explain what we're doing here? Yeah, we're out here slow trolling for Dorado. We've got a, we've got some caballitos, which are live bait out there, small hooks on, and we're doing our best to get some fish. And the area we're fishing is right in front of the right hotel. Right the shipwrecks. You see Santa Maria over there, Toto Cobb a little further, and there's the Twin Dolphin. We're right yeah. off home stomping grounds. Now your fleet operates out of. Both resorts, Hacienda and... Right. Hacienda and the Hotel Cabo. Hotel Cabo. And that resort's been here for one of Cabo's oldest resorts, I know that. It's the second second or third oldest resort down here. It was finished in 1962. Inaugurated by the President of Mexico. It's the nicest structure of Baja California South. So you guys are celebrating your 30th anniversary then? We, we just did. Yeah. We just did. That's a Dorado. Yeah, he's he's jumping, he's jumping. Oh, there he goes. By the bird, you find the Dorado. Dorado, is it? See. There we go. It's a little Dorado that we just caught. We're just going to release him. <laughs> there we go. There he goes. Fishtails is brought to you by Checkpoint, Hook and Knife Sharp.
This week's fish tales comes to us from Greg Tanji of Montebello. Greg caught this jackpot yellowfin tuna while fishing aboard the Shogun. He landed this 30 pound fish on 15 pound line. Congratulations, Greg. That's a nice fish. For being on Fish Tales this week, Greg will receive a copy of my new book, Saltwater Fishing Adventure. Send your photos or videotape today because a free book goes to everyone who is our Fish Tales of the Week. Send your fish tail photos and any questions or comments to Sport Fishing, P.O. Box 90, Montebello, California, 90640. Well, we had a great trip here in Cabo San Lucas. Saw some huge billfish taken, a blue marlin over 580 pounds, and a black marlin to hit the scales at over 600 pounds. Well, I hope next time here I get a shot at fish like that. Well, I'd like to thank everybody who made this trip possible. Blanca with Cabo San Lucas Travel, everybody at the Mexican Tourist Board, Mexicana Airlines, and most importantly, I'd like to thank Mitch, Mike, and Mark who took care of everything for us at Cabo San Lucas Hotel and at the Hacienda. Well, I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you'll join us again next week when we go looking for more of the best sport fishing. like to purchase a copy of today's episode of Sport Fishing and close $15 plus $2 shipping and handling with today's show number to Sport Fishing, P.O. Box 90, Montebello, California, 90640.